going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally, back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. You know how we do it every single day, taking the requests. So if you guys have a request, don't forget to drop it down in the comments section, man. Uh, we're still doing them oddball kind of random requests uh, just to get a little more variety on the channel. I feel like we've been doing a lot of YouTubers, GTRs and Miatas and 240s and stuff like that. So for this one, we're going to definitely be switching it up. If you guys read the title, you already have an idea about what's going to happen. But uh, this request today comes from Nicholas Cannon. Ba -ba, shout out Nick Cannon. Obviously, big shout out to Nicholas Cannon as well. Um, today, Nicholas Cannon wants to see a Slam Toyota FJ. Now, this is one of those requests, man, that is definitely off the wall, definitely unique, which is why I decided to go this route uh, for this video. So, obviously, you guys know, first and foremost, we need to jump into the buy car section of the game and see if we can find said Toyota FJ40, man. Now, as it looks like, I don't think you can actually buy this car. I think it's a barn find, man. Hopefully, I have it. Let me go ahead and check my garage real quick. And by the looks of it, I actually already own this vehicle. Now, I didn't even know. I must have got this when I first got the game and found a few of the barn finds. Did have a few mods on it, but I returned everything back to stock for the sake of this video, man. So let's jump up inside this Toyota FJ40 and see if we can make this pretty much off-road only vehicle a little more of a street truck. And uh, I'd, I'd personally like to see this slammed in stance. So I'm pretty excited about this one, man. Let's go ahead and jump up into the upgrade section, man. Obviously, custom upgrades. And uh, get started here, man. Now, right off of the bat, I'm thinking this thing needs an engine swap. We do have a 4.2 liter. Is, there a, is that a V8? I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't really say here. But look at the kilowatts on here, man. That's probably only about 150 horsepower. Definitely nothing to write home about. Right here, we have that beautiful 2JZ option right here, man. That twin turbo inline six. Really liking that so far as an option. Uh, 6.2 liter V8, a V10 or a V12. How original Forza. Um, so I think for this one, we're going to go ahead and put this twin turbo three liter motor in here uh, just to keep it pretty, uh, not pretty well authentic but as authentic as we can get it um as far as toyotas go uh so aspiration here so aspiration here i think we're going to go with the uh is this a single turbo i think we're gonna leave that twin turbo on here it looks like the power comes on a little bit uh sooner with the twin turbo as opposed to the single turbo so i think we're gonna leave that twin turbo uh the way it is now as far as the front bumper goes not really feeling the way that everything is looking right here i mean that front bumper just looks so plain uh let's go ahead and drop that winch on here um the rear end i'll be damned if force is gonna put a giant ass wing on here but it wouldn't surprise me um the back rack kind of a tight option uh, that spare tire. Oh, they do have a little wing on here. How ridiculous. What do you got for us here, Forza? Oh, that's Toyota. My apologies. All right, so Toyota's got a shaved on the back. Well, I kind of like that, man. Let's go ahead and leave that the way that it is. Now, as far as the sides go, just looks like them little mud flaps. Not really digging the way that those look on the truck. So we're just going to leave those off. And the hood. What do we have for the hood? Oh, the snorkel. Not really going to be needing that uh, since this Toyota is mainly going to be an on-road truck by the time that we are done with it. Um, now, with the tires, uh, as you can see, we have the tire compound, which is the off-road race tire or the stock tire compound. Now, I do wish that we had just a race tire compound um, so we didn't have to have these giant treads on here since this is going to be mainly a street truck um but since the off-road tires really are the only option in it as you can see they really make a huge difference we're gonna have to go put those on uh i think we're gonna have to go ahead and put those on i think 
Um, now, as far as the tire width goes, both front and back, I think, should be adjusted. Now comes the fun part. We get to find a nice style of wheel uh, to really make this thing look like a street truck. So I'm just going to skim through a couple of our options here until I find something that sort of suits this thing. Now, typically, I would not select a, this type of uh, wheel style, but I think if we can make the diameter of the rim a little bit bigger, these things will actually look really dope. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some 21s on there, man, just for fun. Uh, this thing is looking legit like a G-Wagon right now. Um, now that we have the big wheel diameter on here, I think I'm going to go back and maybe... Uh, find a different selection of wheel. I'm not really feeling those five spokes, man. So for this one, I think I'm going to go with more of a tuner wheel. As you can see, we got a nice little six spoke here, the HRE. Um, this is going to give the truck for me, I think, more of a street appearance, um, especially with those 21s on there. Uh, so as far as the drivetrain goes, we're definitely going to have to upgrade the clutch. Uh, don't think the stock transmission here oh wow look at this we are losing a lot on launch we're losing a hell of a lot of launch there but i think for the adjustability we're probably gonna have to go ahead and throw on let's put a sport transmission on here uh, just so i think we'll be able to keep that fourth uh four year ratio um four year we're going to be able to keep four gears, I think, with this, as opposed to having six gears on there with the race transmission. Um, only option here is rally springs and dampers, but I think we're going to be able to slam this thing um, with the, the race springs and dampers. We're also going to put on any roll bars, both front and back, just to give this thing a little bit of stability, since it is a top-heavy uh, off-road vehicle in nature. And last but not least, obviously, comes the engine. Now, I don't think this thing's going to need too, too much as far as the engine goes since we do have a very nice 2JZ motor in there. But off of the bat, we're going to have to put an intake and exhaust. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those turbos just to unlock that insane horsepower uh, that these 2Js have when you toy with the turbos. And obviously, oil and cooling and a flywheel just for some nice rotational weight would re, re okay hold on rotational weight reduction sorry guys a little bit of tongue twister there for you try to say that five five times yeah five try to say it even like twice rotate ro I, I just i'm not even gonna try man um so since we got all of the upgrades out of the way what we have to do now obviously is take care of the tuning um, now, one thing I do want to have a look at is our gearing. You can see we don't have any acceleration, so we're going to have to go ahead, bring that gear ratio a little bit more back to reality. Now, we do have the five gears here. As you can see, our acceleration, really nothing to write home about, but it's really that top speed. Um, I, I would like to see about 300 kilometers an hour. That's kind of my happy number. Uh, let's see if we can get that. I don't think with our gearing that we are going to be able to, to even get close to the 300 mark 253 all right let's see if we can get it 270 I'll, I'll be happy with 270 come on 268 good enough man like i say this is going to be kind of a slammed and stand street truck so it's not really going to have to perform um entirely well but i would like it to uh you know, kind of have a little bit of horsepower. Now, I'm not sure if I put this thing to all, all wheel. No, it's still all wheel drive. So what I am going to do uh, before we go into the designs and paints is go back and definitely make this thing a rear wheel drive platform. Since we do have that 2JZ motor in here, man, um, I kind of want to drift this thing just a little bit. So we can go ahead and install that setup. And last but not least, we need to take this thing into the design and paint editor. Oh, that back is sagging a little bit. I'm not really liking that. We're going to have to make an adjustment on this suspension. But as far as the actual truck goes, I'm not really sure what's going to look. Oh, that, that does not look dope. Well, I know what doesn't look dope, and it's that lime green. Uh, let's see here. Honestly, I think for this truck, man, just a straight up 
black paint job is what this thing needs. Look at that, man. Looking absolutely sick with those little chrome door handles and nice chrome wheels. Now, for the wheels, I wasn't sure what I wanted to go with. I do really like the black. You guys know me. I've been toying around with these little chrome polished lips and stuff like that. And uh, I think because this is a truck build, I'm probably going to go with the aluminum polish. i just been all, all about these polished wheels lately, man. I don't know what it is. Um, you guys, if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know that I'm not a fan of chrome wheels. But I think on this truck, on this truck in specific, it's looking fly as hell right now. So we're going to add that up. And obviously take this thing for a little bit of a rip. Now before that, what I do want to do is adjust the suspension. That rear end is sagging like nobody's business. Uh, like a toddler's diaper, really. I'm, I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. So we're just going to hike that back end up. Uh, let's start with maybe a third. Just over a third, it looks like. And as you can see, we got a nice little rake there. This thing, it's so weird hearing that that uh, inline six twin turbo. This thing just, I feel like this truck really should have a V8 in it. Um, now, one thing I'm noticing is that body roll. We need to go back. Sorry if I'm going back in and tuning everything, but I just, I noticed this almost immediately. Um, these anti roll bars need to get stiffened up just a little bit. Since this is going to be a street truck, I, you know, we, we got to stiffen things up. Oh, that's our problem. The springs are absolutely soft as a mofo. Um, kind of soft like a toddler's diaper as well. It's kind of weird that that analogy works for both of the things that I was talking about. But it truly does. Um, I think this should definitely help our case here. So let's see what this does now. As you can see, not a whole lot of body roll when we stop now. Kind of kicks forward a touch, but nothing too crazy. Now we are uh, obviously starting out in the rain, as you can see, which typically for this truck would not be a problem. But since we made it uh, pretty much a street truck now, took out the all-wheel drive and uh, put this twin turbo V6, which isn't necessarily the greatest for. Uh, panache and finessing of uh, mud and grass and things like that but it should be fun for burnouts let's see what it's all about third gear too I didn't even notice that I'm sure if that was in first gear this thing would have just banked it off the red line like nobody's business let's get a little interior view already look at the speedometer only goes up to about 90 miles an hour sounds like a super in here man this is like those guys in Dubai that you see put the two J's in the old Toyota trucks or the um, what's the new thing I believe it's the uh, twin turbo on the what are those the Nissan patrols I believe um, Massive burnout machines, really the, uh, I don't know, something about Middle Eastern people, um, they love to just burn tires, All by, you know what, the Australians and the Middle Easterns, probably some of the most incredible and insane people um, that I've come across on the internet, obviously, I haven't seen any of the, uh, you know, the Arab drifting or any of the... Uh, crazy hoon machines that you see out in Australia, but from what I've seen on the internet, just uh, the true definition of car guys, man, um, you know, just building up a car purposely to destroy it is um, something that I wish I had the finances to do, if I can be 100% honest, but uh, right now the only car that I own is my G35, and as much as I beat the snot out of that thing man still is my daily and uh you know i beat it to a limit right um banking her off of the red line while doing 360s in the middle of a crowded highway not something i've had the ability to do 
financially yet, but uh, who knows, man, if YouTube picks up. Maybe I can just buy a card just to wreck it on camera, man. I think that would, uh, that's how you know you've made it, man, on YouTube. If, if you can buy a car on YouTube just to wreck it and make your money back, you know, you know you made it, man. Um, but as far as this, oh, what a just dummied it off of that rock, man. Pure devastation right there. No word of a lie. That would have been real bad in real life. Uh, but as far as this thing goes, definitely, definitely a monster. Um, it's a hoon machine. There's no question about that. Which would you guys rather have, man? This Toyota, this Land Cruiser? Or this BMW. What is this? X5? MX5. The X5M. Would you guys rather have this X5M or this old school done up Toyota with the 2J, man? If it was stock for stock, I'd definitely go with the BMW. But if it was this specific truck here, man, I'm going 2J all day, baby. You guys already know how we do it. Um, but, oh, look at everybody drives BMWs on this block, man. Well, guess what? Stealing your homeboy's uh, little driveway here, man. Um, now obviously taking that thumbnail for a screenshot. No, oh, this guy's got a way nicer driveway, man. Can I back this car up? I wonder if I could push this guy out of the driveway here. Let's try that. Sorry, buddy. I need this for my photo shoot. If you just kindly get out of the way. Look at the front nearby. wheels. Why are the front wheels? Like uh, I guess we're inching back ever so slightly. All right, so that guy's not moving, but we can go ahead and steal his driveway anyways, man. This is all us right here. You guys seen it firsthand. We don't got to move him out of the way. You just stole your spot, Sonny. Um, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, definitely smash. Wait. Smash? Did I say smash the like button or the subscribe? If you guys like this one, smash the like button. If you guys are not subscribed, uh, don't forget to click subscribe. Uh, also, hit that little bell notification there. That, that'll give you guys that uh, notification squad VIP status, right? You guys get it right to your smartphones, your emails, uh, however it's set up. Uh, but... Definitely let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments section, man. This looks like, I don't know, this is a pretty rugged looking vehicle. Considering the fact we made it to go on road. I think this thing's still looking like a beast, man. Um, so as always, I am your boy, Dean Nolly, A to the K, Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Don't die. Oh shit, where you going, bro? Don't be creeping on my friend. Don't be creeping on my friend. You and your homie. Oh, nut shot. Nut shot. Oh, buddy. Let's go. And your boy, man. Get him out of here. Oh, fucking. Oh, my God.